So we're here at the Ultimate Fighter Media Day with Juliana Pena, the one known woman's finalist. We'll find out who you're fighting very soon. But how would you rate the overall experience so far of being on the show and coming to this moment? Uh, the overall experience was great. You know, you never get a chance to uh, live in a mansion rent free and eat free food, free fresh halibut every day. You know, you get to train with uh, the best people in the world and uh, you get to focus on yourself as a fighter 24 7, seven days a week. So, uh, I mean, it was a blessing and I'm just super grateful for the opportunity. A lot of people on the show had said that you were kind of being favorited by Misha, being that you guys have that background and the relationship that you had together before you moved into the house. But but the way I saw it, it seemed more as though that you were just trying to absorb as much as you could through the experience. What did you gather from everything like that that went on in the house? Um, you know, I think that if you listen to some of the interviews that, you know, Brian Caraway has done, he'll tell you that the favorite thing was not an issue. He actually didn't talk to me a lot of the times. So sometimes I would come up to Misha and she would shoo me away and, uh, you know, she would say, get away from me, you know, I don't want them to say that I'm playing favorite. So a lot of the times um, I felt like I needed to get more attention from them and so I would always be bombarding them, bombarding them and going up to them and they'd be like, go away, go away, you know, and so the favorite thing is just not really a thing that's very accurate. And, and Sarah Morass, she's trained with uh, Misha and Brian before after she dislocated my arm the first time and so she knows them just like I know them. So I just think that that was just a cop out for them to, you know, kind of gang up on me a little bit. Speaking of Sarah Morass, what was it like for you to get that kind of vengeance on the show to even the score with her, so to speak? It was great. You know, I was uh, so excited to be able to avenge a loss. You know, that loss really took a lot out of me and took the wind out of my sails the first time that I fought her. So um, to get the win was, was really, it was such a great feeling and it definitely boosted my confidence. You know a little bit about adversity. From what I've read, you fought after being in a car accident and then also fought in a fight when you had broken your arm. Was that fight with Sarah where you broke the arm or was that a different fight altogether? No, she uh, broke my arm in the second round of our fight and uh, I didn't tap out and um, I just kept fighting with a broken arm and they couldn't tell that my arm was broken so every time I'd go to post on it, it would just like flail all over the place. But I survived the round and the doctors literally had to yank me out of the ring. I was like, put it back in, round three, let's do this. And they weren't having it and so they had to drag me out of there and I was super upset. So would you say that going into this experience here, whether or not you face Jessica or Raquel, that you're prepared for anything? Yeah, I am. I'm prepared for whoever that they uh, put in front of me and, and may, the, may the best girl win. And also, I know that you train over in Washington with uh, Sik Jitsu, so you have teammates like Sam Cecilia, Michael Chiesa. Will they be cornering you or will you be going with Misha at all? Um, no, uh, Misha's not cornering me and neither is Br uh, Mike or Sam. Uh, Sam has a big fight coming up and so he had to stay home and train and so it's just my main coach and another coach of mine and uh, yeah, we're just going to go in there on Saturday night and, and get it done. Great, we want to wish you all the best of luck, Juliana. So Take care.